Hello guys, welcome back to Metroid Fusion, the 100% in under two hours run. We are just got to area four, and we're gonna go underwater for a little bit here, and we're not gonna do that smart ball thing where we're like, okay, I'm at level seven now, and oh, just never mind. That's just too cringy. Anyway, talking about my past self all the time here. Yeah, this area's got a lot of interesting, like, block destruction puzzles, and a lot of times you'll just never know what kind of blocks you can destroy and which ones you can't. So you kinda have to, like, your first time through, man, I tell ya. I think I got lost more in this area, my first playthrough, than pretty much any other area in the game. And so much of it just has to do with knowing which blocks you can destroy and which way you go and all that stuff. Because there's like a room in here somewhere where you can fall through the floor, I think you can shoot through the floor. And there's absolutely no reason to go down there, but every time I see that room, the first thing I think, because that's what you would normally think, you know, in a Metroid run, is if you can poof through the floor, then maybe there's a reason for that. Uh, yeah, nice. I was using pseudo screw attack there. I don't use that enough when I play, honestly. I don't use enough of the charge beam in general. I know I should, so I could probably definitely do it even faster if I did that, but or if I just made a habit of it, but like even right here, you know, I'm forgetting to use it, so like, but, but you can do that just to kind of jump through enemies and not take damage, not get knocked back, and not lose time, ultimately. Like, the damage is bad enough, but the losing time is the worst part. Just getting slowed down, you know? Just gonna kind of curl through here and try to get in this lower door here. And this is a room here where normally you're supposed to go across the top here, but I just like, if you bomb it and then just jump in the water, you can just get across like this, and then you don't have to cl climb slowly across the top. And then here, wall jump on the right, you can get up here really fast. This is a really easy one to miss. I'll tell you one thing, I didn't, I just can't believe I didn't mention this in the last video, but I have done five, a grand total of five 99% runs in which I just missed a single upgrade because I just didn't think to do it. And I don't think that was one of them though, but anytime I get to an upgrade that was responsible for one of those 99% runs, I will point it out. I might not remember to point out all five of them, but well, I guess we'll see when we get there. Because usually it's like later on. Okay, I go over this right here and you can shoot this, not bomb it because bombing takes too long. The Thursday, Friday, take too long before I know it. Saturday's gone, but Sunday now you can bet that I'm all right. Like, really? Before I know it, Saturday's gone. This is actually um, a Monday that I'm recording this, so... Except for Monday. Oh, man. Let's see if we come around this way. Yeah, that's another thing. Is like, my first time playing this, I would see that energy tank in there, and I just feel like I have no idea how to get it. See if we can't, like, well, I'm not gonna one shot the boob. I'm not gonna one shot the boob. I'll just tank it. He'll drop the four energy tanks here in the red. When they drop the little red one, that fills up four energy tanks. Let's see how we can do on this one. This is a prime example of a boss that you can really benefit from using the close range charge shot here. If we can get him right away when he comes up here. Mm, okay, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Oh, jeez. I don't really know his pattern beyond that though, so like it's gonna be a matter of just reacting to when he shows up. Yeah, <laughs> so I could have had him there, but oh shit! Oh, dude, nice. Okay, all right. Gonna get the missiles out right away here. <laughs> oh man, oh that's two good bosses in a row right there. Let me tell you, unless they're well, the condom boss. Yeah, it wasn't terrible though. Could have been better maybe. All right, let's try to get him out here to a well. I think I'm just gonna hit him here now. I mean, sometimes you have to do that, like, rather than lure him towards the middle to do that little trick, you just go ahead and hit him. So it ends up being faster in the long run. And the long run is what it's all about. You gotta play the long game, you know? Yeah, so apparently you can Shine Spark here. I haven't, like, learned how to do that yet. Like, I guess you Shine Spark out of a Morph Ball or something. I was definitely too slow there to pull it off anyway, but... But yeah, you can Shine Spark to get to this missile over here. Or not, not to get to the missile, but rather to get to the other side so that you can, you know, boost through the floor here. So I'm gonna do this right here. There's a little missile below us here, and we'll stand up so we can shoot the wall and get that right there. Anytime that you can shoot instead of bomb, it's definitely advisable to try to do that, but it's not always immediately obvious which ones you can shoot and which ones you have to bomb, so... So just shoot through here and grab this one, and we should be good for this area for a little bit. Well, wait, no, no we're not, because we have to do the thing. I always forget about that. Because usually you just go in and you get your power up and you're done with the area, but no, in this one you gotta use the power up to do something else before you leave. So a little bit of changing up the formula a little bit there. 
Okay. Knockback is not as big of a deal as long as you're like getting knocked in the direction you wanted to go anyway. So you're gonna have to do this again here, but yeah, part of the reason this trick is so easy is because you get to do it twice in the run, so you get twice the practice on it. It's not actually that hard of a trick to do anyway. Here's the floor right here. I think you can bomb through that. I'm not actually 100% sure about that, but let's see if we can. Okay, oh, that was good timing right there. So you can, like, stop right there on the switch rather than run past it. It's way too easy to do that. I'm just dipping in the water here so I can make this jump as soon as possible, and Daisuke is online, and we got another missile tank. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm just gonna shoot through here, and boop. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, well, that... <laughs> No, it could have been worse. I'll take it. It's been going too, things have been going too good here for me to give up on this now. So let's just duck in through here. We have a bunch of monsters we gotta kill here, so we need to get our speed up to run through the obstacles on the right. So hopefully I didn't miss one. Nope. Oh god, there's a missile in there. Right, right, right. I always forget this is about this one until I see it, until I come in the room. Too many times, like, I'll go into a room and not even know what to expect, but once I see the room, I know what to do, but I have to see the room first, and then I'm like, oh, okay, this is the room where you do that thing. And that's how I think of it, but I still don't have a sense for what the map looks like on a more grand scale, like a macro scale, or whatever you want to call it. So, like, yeah. I kind of am starting to get to a point where I know what to expect, but it's taking time for me to get there. I kind of wanted to recharge there, I decided not to. Just gonna come on through here, now we gotta talk to Mr. What's-His-Face again. Huh, might as well take a drink while we're doing this. Mmm. Ooh, gotta keep that A-timing. But again, like, it doesn't matter how fast you go through this, because time's not passing here anyway. At least not as far as the game is concerned. But real time is passing, and I do care about that, because, like... Like, doing this in under two hours, 100%, is one thing, but... There's still the issue of, well, you're taking three hours out of your day to actually do this run, so it's not something you can do, like, every... I mean, you could do it every day, but still. It blows my mind when I hear about speedrunners that are on their, like, 37,000th run of something, and I'm like, wow. Like, that's like doing something every day for a hundred years. Once a day. So that must be, like, a pretty short run, whatever example that is that I'm thinking of, because I know I've seen that somewhere. But it's like, yeah, man. But I guess there's also, like, it's not necessarily always going to be three hours per attempt. Because you might stop an attempt before, like, five minutes in because you screwed up too much. So that would only be five minutes, that attempt, and it wouldn't really count as a run, so you wouldn't multiply that by the total time of the run to see how much time was actually put into it. It's still, it's a lot of time. 37,000 attempts is a lot. I don't know why I'm pulling that number out of, like, 37,000? I swear I've seen that somewhere. I'm sure those people have done even more runs than that, though. You know, they always say, like, it takes 10,000 hours of practice to fully master something. Which makes me wonder, is there anything in my life that I've spent 10,000 hours doing? I honestly think the one thing in my life I've spent the most time on is probably Tetris. So, which explains why I'm so good at it, I tell ya. <laughs> Lately it's been rough on Tetris 99, it's been kinda hard to break the... I mean, I can still break the top 10 pretty consistently, but there are times like, when there's just people on there that really know what they're doing, and they just get lucky and happen to target you early in the match. And if they do, then you're, you're pretty much screwed. Here's the one in the ground over here. This one actually would be really easy to miss, I imagine. I mean, this is a perfect example of, like, a missile pack where nobody would ever find that unless they were looking for a guide. I'm waiting for the ground to repair itself here so I can get a speed up so I can jump up here. And get through here. This one also, like, I definitely had to look it up my first... Well, this is another one of those where I feel like you would almost have to look it up just to find it. But, you know, the fact that there's a room there that you can run through, it's like, yeah, okay, sure, but still. I guess that is kind of suspicious, though, the fact that there's just that huge room with nothing in it. I'm just gonna push on through here. Get up here, sneak under here like that. And then open this door. Now, it's really easy to forget. You need to run to the left here so you can have enough room to get your speed up to get through here and then get down there. So I always rolled into a ball to go th to fall through the floor there. And then, like, I never realized that you didn't have to do that. And it's like, why did I always think I had to do that? It's just one of those random things you think to yourself. Like, like oh, this, this just becomes a habit at a certain point. You don't ask why. 
You know, like that Sponge song. Don't ask why. Don't ask why. Anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, that's a pretty good song, let me tell you. It's called Molly by Sponge. Mm, my sister liked it when it first came out. I remember thinking it was just okay. And then one random day in the 2010s, I went back and listened to it, and I was like, damn, this song is good. This song's just got 90s written all over it, man. I don't know. So, here we go. What are we getting here? Is this- oh yeah, the super missiles. Okay, we're good. So now we don't have to do the charge shot on the boobs anymore. We can just- hopefully they open up on the first go and we can just get this done, man. Nope, nope, sorry, I'm crossing my legs here. We're actually uncrossing them. No, not Animal Crossing them, although that would be fun. I haven't really played Animal Crossing lately, I don't know. Like, I was really getting into the New Horizons when it came out, but for some reason... I mean, I guess just because it happens, you just stop playing because other stuff comes along. Now, speaking of other stuff coming along, so a lot of people have been talking about Persona 3 Reload lately. And I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist, so I got it. I got it on my PS4. And the other thing about that is that ever since I moved here, like two years and a, two years and like two months ago, I've kept most of my stuff out in the garage and the boxes. In the boxes. <laughs> yeah, ooh, that was a good shot. Um, you know, just like books and stuff that fans have made for me and just all this stuff. My, my, my game collection, my DVD collection, all that shit is like just out in the garage in boxes. And yesterday, I just, it's like, I decided, okay, I, I want to play Persona 3 Reload, you know? I just want to be, I, I want to be in on the action. I want to know what everybody's talking about when they make these references. I want to know who these characters are that I keep seeing people cosplaying. I am doing so bad at this. So, uh, <laughs> um, but then I looked it up. Well, the first thing I did was I went to Google, and it, I Googled, is Persona 3 Reload on Switch? That's what I did. That's in my Google history now. It turns out that it's not. It's only on PC... I think Xbox, PS4, and PS5. And I wasn't about to go buy a PS5 just for this one game, but I do have a PS4. But my PS4 is out in the garage where it's been for the last two years, along with all my DVDs, all my games, all my old systems, all that, that bag full of wires that I'll probably never use for the rest of my life. And God knows what else. Just stuff, man. Just stuff. All my Amiibos, those are all out there too. <laughs> I have like a hundred of those sitting out there. Uh, anyway... So, like, in the last, like, it, it's occurred to me to go out there and get my PS4, but for some reason, every time I would go out there and look for it, I couldn't find it. And I was like, okay, did I not take it with me or something? And it got to a point where I was just like, okay, I guess I don't have it now, and I know he has one. But, like, you know, I, the, but I wouldn't be able to log in on mine if I wouldn't have all the games that I installed on mine. So, and I had Dragon Quest Builders and Dragon Quest Builders 2 on there, so eventually I bought Dragon Quest Builders on my Switch just so I'd be able to play it, even though I could have played it on my PS4 if I would have looked for it. Anyway, so last night, I go out into the garage and I start pulling stuff out and I just start taking it inside the house. Because I'm like, I don't know why I haven't done this anyway. This is all my stuff. I don't know why I'm leaving it out here. I mean, I'm not sure where I'm going to put it right now, but I'm kind of, maybe I can make a vlog about that or something, actually. That'd be, that'd be pretty fun. Oh, oh my god, I'm breathing. This <laughs> is talking so much here. Now let's take another drink. Mm. Anyway, I go in and I pull all that stuff out, and eventually I find it. I find my PS4, and I'm just like, oh, hell yeah. So I brought that thing in, I dusted it off, I set it up last night, and I downloaded Persona 3 Reload. I did it. And then I played it for like three hours, so, uh... I haven't played it yet today, and I probably should be playing it right now, because that's what I wanted to be doing. But I also wanted to be doing this, so, like, I don't know. Take your pick, right? Oh, oh. oh, does Santa suspect anything? Oh, good, monitor her closely. Of course he's in a business suit. You know, but on the inside... Nah, never mind. I just, it's a tape, don't worry about it. Uh, it's a tape, don't worry about it. Only you guys would understand that. Anyway. Yeah, once you get the speed booster, coming through here is just a breeze, man. So Area 6 is probably my favorite area in the game. It just, it's so cool, it's so purple, and it's so dark. And I love purple and I love darkness, so it's like the best of both worlds, man. Let's go ahead and go in another navigation room here. And we don't quite need to save yet, we're closing in on about 15 minutes here, so we can keep going for a little bit here. Yeah, get moving to a data room, yeah, you get going. It's so weird, though, once you get to know this game better, 
you know, all the things that you walk past when you're just going through the regular game before you do the cleanup at the end. You just think to yourself, oh god, there's something on the other side of that wall, and if only I could just go in there. But it's like, I can't because I don't have the screw attack, you know, I could just go over there and it'll take me straight to area five. And it's crazy, man. Oh, jeez, we almost had a kind of a super jump there. I don't know what happened there. Let's just come through here. So the, there's like two things here that are both basically inside of holes in the wall that are like three blocks up. So it's actually easy to remember these two because of how symmetrical they are. It's three blocks up on the left, three blocks up on the right. And here we go. Oh, jeez. Always forget to make that jump. It's funny because I think I think on my second run of this ever, I remembered to make that jump, and then ever since then, I've never remembered to do it. It's so weird, man. Let's come through here. Yeah, this place. Oh man, this place is cool. I do love it. It's not really like you wouldn't expect Metroid to be like this kind of color too. So I don't know. It's just really cool. I thought there was something on my leg there for a second. <laughs> it's gonna come through here, and we're gonna shoot through here. Shoot this guy here before he gets us. Yeah, this part is a little dangerous because if these guys grab onto you, they'll basically hit you for like 80 damage. And uh, you don't want that. But once you kind of learn the ins and outs of the route, it's not too bad. You get an energy tank right here or so. And if you've been picking up all the energy tanks thus far, you shouldn't have a problem. It's only in your number seven there. Seven energy, <laughs> seven energy tanks already. There's actually a total of 20 energy tanks in the game, which I think might be the most energy tanks any Metroid game has ever had. So it kind of makes sense that monsters do as much damage as they do in this game. I'll tell you. It's like, it's pretty rough going for that first few, getting those first few tanks, you know? Oh shoot, wait, oh man. I almost forgot to dodge the power bomb. So this is one where I actually am sort of comfortable just running out ahead of her a little bit, but you want to wait till she jumps down over here. So if she starts attacking you up here, it's going to be a problem, but you come through the door here, and as long as you shoot here, you just come through the wall and then just get up here like this, you pretty much won't have a problem getting away from her. So yeah. Come down through here. Do this little number right here. Yeah, this room can be a bit of a problem if these guys get... You know, like the missile is up there in the hole, but it's like, uh, do you want to? Oh god, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm tired of wasting my time here. <laughs> use two bombs to get it. Like, if you're really clever, you can actually use one bomb and then just shoot the other, the missile block itself, to get the missile. But I've done it before, but it's kind of it's crazy maneuvering. Maneuvering. It always weirds me out when I see people... Oh god, I don't have to do that, I got super missiles, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, now it's gonna give me the boob. I'm gonna pay the price, but with the boob. Oh, if I would... Oh, I've got three boobs, man, stop it, please, please, four! Four boobs! Okay, anyway. Oh yeah, and I always run into that thing. I didn't do it this time, but usually I run into that. And once again, it kinda doesn't matter. I don't even know how much damage it does, but whatever. Yeah, this boss is actually really fun here. Only way you can hit him is with the charge beam, so... Ooh, oh boy, okay. Yeah, he never ends up where it looks like he's going to, because it looks like... I don't know. <laughs> okay, did I get him there? Um, there we go. Ah, oh, if I would have shot there, I would have had him, but... Hmm. Oh my god, I am missing... I'm missing no. I'm missing no! <laughs> Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Take it easy. You get the various suit for beating this boss, so if that's any motivation for you right there, definitely keep that in mind. Nice, nice, okay, alright. One, two, three, yep, see there? Two, three, right in the middle. Oh shit, I thought that was the last hit. Um, <laughs> oh nice, okay, that works. Various suit effect recover, survive extreme temperatures. Well done, by the way. There's one thing, like, usually in a Metroid game, the various suit is like a big deal. It doesn't feel like as much of a big deal in this game. I'm not sure why. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. I just... <laughs> I just had, like, two farts in the last minute. And, like, <laughs> they sound so loud this time. I don't know why. Anyway. Anyway, okay, so the missile right here we can grab. 
Kind of just get these two on the way out of here. Just gonna make a little loop here. So anyway. Mm. And of course, well, okay, so now that you have the various suit, though, these things actually won't hurt you when they hit you. So there is that, too. And it's also interesting that the various suit in this game, like, protects you from cold. Because normally various suit is supposed to protect you from hot, but... And it does protect you from hot here, too, but... It's more so, this, like, the function of it is to protect you from extreme temperatures, not just heat. And this one, I always go the wrong way here, so I'm gonna go right. Thank God, I went to- oh god, no! Oh man, ugh, okay, fine, whatever. That was like five seconds, don't even worry about it. Don't even at me. Man, I was so stupid in that Rise of Skywalker video when I was like, Oh yeah, she has Force healing, but so did Luke in The Empire Strikes Back on the SNES, so don't at me. It's like, what do you think you made some great argument there? Jeez, man. What a dumbass, I gotta tell you. I mean, I'm not trying to say the Rise of Skywalker is great or anything, but, I w but that moment, though, when he lifted the X-Wing out and he started smiling, oh my god, it was so good. Ah, uh, I just lost my shit. I really did. Oh, jeez. Okay, that was that that was very sloppy. Um, so was that, actually. Yeah, like, that. see that floor under there where it goes down there? It's like, you might pass by that, like, five or six times, and for some reason, my first time playing, I just never took note of it. Like, hey, I wonder what's down there. You would try to bomb it. I mean, if you did try to bomb it, you would get screw attack symbols. And be like, okay, so I'll just come back to that later. But there are so many places in the game where you can do that and get that exact same thing happen. You get screw attack symbols. But then when you come back later with the screw attack, it's like, what you'll use. What, what'll usually happen is you'll come at it from the other side, and then you'll come up through, and it's like, oh, I'm here now. Okay, so that's what was on the other side of that wall. So it's like, you get the answer before you get the question, sort of. It's kind of, it's one of those kind of situations. So this is the longest run you could possibly make through the hub world, or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, going from six to five, baby. I think once we get to five, we'll probably make a save right there. So usually when I get to area five, the first save room, I like to be at 33 minutes then. So I don't know what I'm at right now, I'm not going to look at it. Well, I mean, I'll look at it when I get there, but still. So if we're at 33, we should be pretty much on a good pace here, at least to match my, you know, my personal best of 138, so. Now that I think, it might be 135, actually. Uh, I don't know. I don't know crap. Because didn't I do a run on stream where I got something like that? I don't know. B -b 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 or Because I know I did like a 99% run on stream, one of those, when that happened. Oh man. Yeah, here we are. You need to download data for, as you might expect, the data. Level 3 security hatches, release the security lock, and, and experiment with those new missiles. Is your objective clear? Nope. But yeah. I guess this is a kind of another area, though, where you can tend to go the wrong way. At least I know I tend to. So, save data. We are doing exactly that. And what is our time at right now? As soon as it lets me look, I will be taking a look. 32. Okay, okay. I guess we're ahead. Alright, see you guys next time.